Chicago, a unique skyline in the history of American architecture. Devastated by the Great Chicago Fire in 1871, the Windy City rebuilt itself in a spectacular way. Some of the greatest architects saw an ideal opportunity to experiment their creativity. Among them was Frank Lloyd Wright. In the heart of Oak Park, he designed his house and his studio with new material and new shapes. Here, he's really creating an identity. Frank Lloyd Wright, architect. His work is qualified as organic architecture, and in it, you can see how humans and nature are intertwined. My name is Arthur Hand. I am a sommelier in Chicago. Today, I'm going to talk about a wine as original as Frank Lloyd Wright's architecture. This wine is French, and it's called Beaujolais. We are here at Hemingway Bistro. Uh, we'll be tasting one of our first Beaujolais, 2015. George Duboeuf, René, a Beaujolais coming from the northern part of uh, Appalachian, a Cru Beaujolais, one of the smallest ones and also one of the youngest Appalachian as well. Personally, it's one of my favorite. It's probably one of the most unique. I really enjoyed the 2015 uh, Beaujolais because it just remind me that really richer, a little more density of the fruit components, a little bit peppery, a little bit spicy on the nose as well. And so you have like crunchy cherries. The palette is very soft, um, a lot of sort of uh, purple and uh, violet flowers, uh, very soaky tannins. Um, it's just very easy to drink. Crepes with uh, mushroom, with asparagus, ham, and also Gruyere cheese. And you have the earthy tone coming from the mushroom. I go really well with the juiciness of this bottle. Really happy with this combination. Right here, we're at the Mart in downtown Chicago. I'm introducing you the second Beaujolais that we'll be tasting. 2014 vintage of Domingue Chouinard. The wine is extremely aromatic. A lot of red fruits, uh, strawberry, cranberry, uh, raspberry there. In this case, Borgelay definitely offered that versatility. The acid refreshing, the beautiful, just slightly firm tannins in the back. We can feel the creativity in this wine. There's no doubt that Frank Lloyd Wright would have liked it. That just a little bit of that sort of roundness of the tomatoes and bell pepper really bring out the sort of the herbal uh, quality. Cheers. Thank you. Enjoy. To end the journey, I'm going to take you downtown to one of Chicago's most famous pizzerias, Pizzeria Uno. I'm introducing you the third bottle of the Beaujolais. This is 2015 Chateau Tevin, Côte de Bruit, their Cuvée Zachary. The color of the wine is very deep and dense black rubies. The nose is rich and spicy with a lot of blackberries and mulberry components. Uh, Cuvée Zachary coming from one of the oldest uh, vineyard plot for Chateau Tivans. And what that translates to is that they're rich in the power, a lot of more blacker fruits components. So you have the power, you have the richness. Down the palate, they're very refreshing, uh, very delicious. In front of you, you have the iconic Chicago deep dish pizza. That's salty and sweet herbal tomato sauce. And it's going to go really well with the deep notes of the Chateau Tivans. Wow. I hope that you can taste it as well. Surprising, inventive, and definitely original, Beaujolais is crafted perfectly to complement the Windy City.